Okay, so there are a few things that as people are trying to make their backgrounds, they have similar questions and I have similar suggestions. And so I want to point out a few things that could make your process easier and make your abilities broader. So first of all, opening an image. Um, this image is not the size that I want my canvas to be. So I can go now to image size and I can adjust to 1280 by 720 pixels. That's what it should end up being. You can see it stretches my image. So it may be better to have your canvas first, then bring in your image. If you're going to do that, you would have your canvas set up by going to file new. And this is where you can change your pixels and that. Um, then you'll want to pull in your image. You can pull it in straight from the desktop like this. But if that doesn't suit you, you can go to File, Place Embedded. And then you can find your image that you're going to place. So let me see if I can find, okay, here's that image. Okay, and now I can place that. Um, when people are using text, my text. They may want to know how to resize the text. After you click off, you're going to have trouble resizing it. So you need to make sure you click it and select it. And then you can resize up here. But what if you want to stretch your letters out a little bit more or make them broader or narrower? That's when you pull up window character. And here I can make my text bigger, taller. I can make my text thinner or wider. And you can do this by just hover over this. And as you can see, I'm clicking and dragging one way or the other. And that's how I'm affecting my text. Um, just remember that it is so simple to add text within a picture. So let me click on this layer here. If I want to move this, I can't move it even when I click on the layer. That's because I'm working with the arrow tool. I need the move tool. So that's this tool right up here. Click it. And now I can drag this around. Okay. I'm going to drag it behind my text. I want it to be bigger. So to make things bigger, you got to transform it. That's command T. And now you can see I have these things and I can transform. Let's say I want a suit, text suit. Okay. I'm just going to make this bigger and bigger until the suit fills the text. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to right click. And I would say, oh, sometimes things don't come up if you're clicked in the wrong spot. I was going to say create clipping mask, but I can't do that. Let's try now. I'll click on this layer, create clip, cl clipping mask, and it just clipped. Now I can move my picture around back here. So I get a nice suit picture in here, or I can move my text around just by clicking on my text and moving it around. Um, let's make sure I'm clicked on my text. You little click your text. It's stuck. Go to my arrow tool, click my text. Sometimes it helps to actually select your text. Now move tool. And as you can see, I could still get that blue or I could come down here and start using it here. So we've talked about the character panel, which is where you can change your text. We've talked about transform, opening images. We've talked about the move tool. The last thing I want to show you is the history tool, because sometimes you're kind of far down and there are some things that you want to undo. So for instance, Here's my history tool, and I can look back and see every step I've taken since I've opened the image. If I want to go back to the open stage, I can just click that. And now it's at the open stage. I undid my image sizing and everything. If I didn't like how I moved it a few times ago, I can click the move and come back to here. And now I want the tie picture in. And then you can close that. And you should be able to move on from there. So those tools should be helpful for you as you are continuing to make your titles and anything else in, photo, in Photoshop.